Daniel tries weird things. Special edition, Dukes Pukes! Welcome to another exciting episode of Danielle Tries Weird Things. This is our fun-filled foreign episode where we travel to the lands of Sweden and Finland to try out some tasty, tasty Nordic candies. We've got a couple delicious treats from our friend Kim. Couldn't be here with us, but he is here in spirit. And of course, our friend Duke, who personally hand delivered these all the way from Finland. Thank you for joining us. Great welcome. Let's get tasting. I'll let you torture me with those after. We're gonna start with these. We have, I mean, I really can't tell you a lot about these because I can't read anything on them. So it's a surprise for everyone. These are Got and Bland Dot Super Salt. I assume I said that really wrong, but we're gonna roll with it. It says blend, so oh. what do you expect? <laughs> What's got? That's just the name? Yeah. Got, <laughs> bland, and super salt. I don't know how that goes. Well, we're just gonna eat these. It's like little fishies. Thank you. It is very salty, almost painfully salty, but... I mean, sometimes I would lick the horses like salt looks, so I do like salt. Not after they had it, just before they got their mitts on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like a salty black licorice. Mm, that's quite literally what it is. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Up next, Tear Kiss Pepper. Doesn't come hotter than this. Mega hot with four, four flames. And it says too hot to handle on the back. So as we've learned before, I do not like hot things. So I assume this one. You're gonna love it. <laughs> yep. Oh, they're already, they're like all stuck. Mm. Sticky. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Reminds me of hope. Reminds me of kind of sucking a cinnamon ball, but like hotter. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's got fiery surprise in the middle. It's like a little, little lava pocket. And just a little powder. But it's hot. It's a little peppery. Yeah. And a drink or something? No, let's just keep we're gonna ride this train right on to the next one. Oh, we started with black licorice and we end with black licorice. I like black licorice. Let's go with something a little sweeter for a change. Panther. Basically just black licorice pellets. Ooh. And a bit sweeter than what we had before. <laughs> All right. It's got the nice pee on it to let you know. Panther. That's a bit aromatic. <laughs> mm. It's got an interesting taste. I can't put my mouth on it. Um, I guess I literally can, but... Robitussin. The what now? Bless it's you. like a cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, it's like a robitussin -y licorice. It's not not terrible, but oh okay. yeah, mm. it's it's all right. <laughs> oh. Next we have is basically like probably one of the more uh, popular licorice in Finland. And basically, a similar kind of stuff. It's all fused into <laughs> one. <laughs> We'll just deal with what we have. Okay. Uh, how about you take the one? Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, I'll take the one with this the three. Looks really good, like a little raisiny. <laughs> it's not supposed to look raisiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we have Lacrisol. Well, it sounds like a cleaner, so uh, I'm a little worried. That's because it is. But we're gonna eat it anyway. No, not really. As long as it's not Thai <laughs> pods! That's the only one that you can't eat. Oh. Oh, also, there you go. <laughs> it looks like kind of a spree, but brown. Like a chocolate spree. Mmm. Kind of like beefy licorice. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> That's actually a good way to describe it. 
<laughs> like, um, yeah, like if you cooked leek root, not leek root. <laughs> Where did this come from? This must be a mystery item that someone wants us to try. I do not recognize it as a product of Finland or Sweden, so I suspect it doesn't have to do with our foreign episode. But we're going to try it anyway. Because when something gets put in front of me, I don't say no. Someone pissed in a cup. Someone took butter off of a corn cob and put a little lobster juice in it and then chilled it in the fridge. I'm not really sure. It tastes a little fruity, but at the same time, <clears throat> I can't place what the fruit is. If you had to get something, what would you guess? Just a flavor. I would say, like, let's just say papaya. <laughs> uh, star fruit. It's the only one I can think of. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Well, that's boring. <laughs> so, next time you guys think some pure coconut water with peach mango might be a refreshing drink, I want you to rethink that. Unless you're into buttery corn cobs. Really into fruit. Then this is the drink for you. Let's review! Alright, so now it's time to get into some Duke's Pukes. Uh, so, first thing is going to be the... Scott and Blandot Super Salt. Yeah, thumbs up is right. Thank you, Kim. This was delicious. If you don't like salt, this is gonna be a real bad time. Other than that, it's gonna be zero peaks for me. That's delicious. I could eat this all day. Next, we have our Tear Kiss Paber, which I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I'm trying real hard. The Too Hot to Handle Mega Hot version. Uh, very hot, but not like super terrible. I give them, uh, geez. I'm torn between three and four. I think I'm gonna go with a four. <laughs> but thank you, Kim, because I'm gonna give these to so many unsuspecting people. Panther. I'm also gonna have to give it four <laughs> because of the overwhelming, just pungent, powerful Robitussin flavor. Sorry, it's four, four Duke Pukes on that one. No, uh, it's fine. I don't know why I need it. <laughs> oh. Salmiak. Zero Pukes. Delicious. Like little rubber um, black licorice tires that were slightly melted and wrinkly. It's about months old. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes it's not the exterior, it's what's on the inside that counts and they had such a delicious flavor. You just gotta get that. past it. You are quite horrible with metaphors. <laughs> so then we have um, La Crisol, the beef tabs is what I'm gonna call them. Okay. They're pretty bad, but not like super terrible. So I think those are also gonna be like a four. <laughs> pretty consistent. Just a zero or four across the board for the most part. Um, not bad. Vita Coco, our surprise. I, I think I was gonna break the mark for today and go for a five. What would you rate that? That one? Yeah. Mm, three. All right, so if we average it out, this is a four. It stays right in line with everything. Look at that. Perfect. So if you find yourself traveling abroad in, I almost said Swinland. That's not a real place. Finland or Sweden, you now know what you should try, what you shouldn't, and if you ever are looking at this, no, fuck that. Don't even. I mean, some of these were a four, but you should still try them anyway, because it'd be funny. Or just buy them and give them to other people. That's what I'm going to do. So if you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, questions, anything you need help with, whatever you want, feel free to comment below. Or check us out at littlegiantmonsters.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you like what you saw here today, feel free to give us a like or subscribe for more content. We're trying to get ourselves out there and every like, comment, and word of mouth helps. And on that note, I'd like to extend a very special thanks to Kim for these delicious items and for Duke for bringing these other items as well and giving us very uh, thoughtful review and information on these things that I otherwise would not have been able to read. Oh, you're quite well. <laughs> Thanks. Nobody wants it.